Most people who lace up their shoes and pick up a basketball never make it to the NBA. Most NBA players never make it to the Hall of Fame. And most Hall of Famers are only inducted once. But Bill Russell isn't most people. Bill already has a plaque in Springfield honoring everything he accomplished on the court. The national championships in college, the NBA titles, the gold medal. That's why today we are inducting Bill Russell, the coach, the mentor, the trailblazer. When Red Auerbach asked Bill if he would take over for him as coach of the Boston Celtics, it was an unusual request. Bill was still the team's star player, but eventually Bill agreed to give it a shot. At the very least, he joked, I'll be playing for a coach I love. Bill Russell, perhaps more than anyone else, knows what it takes to win and what it takes to lead. That's always been true off the court as well. As I mentioned when I gave him the Medal of Freedom, this is a man who marched with Dr. King and stood by Muhammad Ali. He endured insults and vandalism, but never stopped speaking up for what was right. And when a coffee shop in Lexington, Kentucky wouldn't serve black players, Bill joined his teammates in boycotting the game in their town, an act of civil disobedience that still echoes to this day. That's why I could not be more honored to celebrate Bill Russell for the way he played, the way he coached, the way he led, the way he lives his life. Because as tall as Bill Russell stands, his example and his legacy rise far, far higher. Congratulations, Mr. Russell, and welcome once again to the Hall of Fame.